Oh, here we are again now and it's like no time has passed Gazing out upon the sunset as it sinks into the night Many times it seemed as though a given day might be our last Face to face with certain death, it's somehow coming out alright I don't think that we have any cause to lament But there's quite a lot of thrilling intent Thrilling intent Thrilling intent, thrilling intent. Yep. <laughs> he slowly turns around and puts an elbow down on the table. If we're talking about a solvent and especially spreading it over a wide amount of distance, I'm your guy for that. Yes. This inv- <laughs> hey, how's 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 things been? Um I uh I've been I've been hanging out around When did you get here? Uh well Jeez. with the with the boat. Marcus like gives I- Kira like stands on the table and gives Kira a hug. <laughs> you immediately jump up and give Kira a hug. He hugs you back. Good to see you, man. Like Good I Good to I, see you. Wow. I heard you went through a portal and a bunch of wacky stuff happened. Yeah, no, I, I ran all the way to Tannhauser, but then only like a week had passed. For me? No, it was less time than yeah, that. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was longer. It was longer for us. It was longer. Time got yeah. weird. It's, it's, okay. it's really yeah, strange. No, that's, what have that's you been cool. up to? Time will do that. Um, you know, building a forge, uh, cool. getting kicked out of my forge, uh, nice. being exiled from the city, living in the woods Aww. for a week, coming back from living in the woods uh, when, uh, when a group of angels attacked, winning right. the allegiance of the people here, uh, becoming a town hero. They're building a statue okay. of me, building a oh, new forge cool. better this time. You're a uh, folk hero now. That's great. Yeah, I'd see. It's excellent. Like, uh, no, I'm, uh, I'm that in a couple towns myself. It's a really good feeling. <laughs> yeah, no, like it, it, it's it's excellent. I just want them to um, I, I want them to like I want I want them to accurately portray the legend, you know. And it's just, yeah, yeah. just hard. <laughs> uh, you know, up, I'm, I'm sure they'll get there. Now. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, sorry. Um, <laughs> Please, Kier, continue talking about whatever you were talking. Solvents. Yeah, uh, yeah the, the solvent. Wide right? areas. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so if you're looking, um, if you're looking for like a distribution device, I got you guys covered. Uh, he slams something down on the table. It appears to be. It's about the size of a. Uh, it's about the size of like a keg. Um, <laughs> not a full size keg. Like somewhere halfway between a mini and a full size keg. Um, he puts it down on the table. If you guys are looking for some sort of alchemical, like, concentrate, I can, you plant this thing where you need it to, it'll distribute it over a wide area. I can make, like, two, three of these things? What, what do you guys want? Wait, is that just a bomb? Kira made a squirt gun. <laughs> oh. You guys, it's both. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay, now you've lost me again. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it's like, um, uh, okay, so, uh, what it, what it does is he slams it on the table, and then slams it on the table again, ka-chunk, something detaches from the side of it. <laughs> Basically, the aerosol fires from here, and it's enough to propel it in the air, right? So it Whoa. starts to whiz around dangerously, yeah. you know? Like, like uncontrollably. Da- like, like, dangerously, <laughs> like, yeah, like, you gotta walk away from this thing fast, for he narrows his eyes in here. <laughs> and, like, uh, once it reaches optimal, optimal distribution level it uh then becomes dangerously uh depressurized uh and uh <laughs> detonates so um yeah I, i'm so uh, really imp- best of both worlds huh i'm impressed you managed to achieve uh detonation through depressurization that is quite the feat <laughs> Kier nods, uh-huh. actually it would actually it would be more impressive if Kier were to make an invention that doesn't explode <laughs> <laughs> he Melody just raises a hand. Can it be ridden? Uh, yo, <laughs> I mean, I sure hope so. He he gets a he gets a difficult look on his face. Nah, I uh, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm gonna take that as a challenge, right? Wait a second, you're small. You're light. Points at Marcus. No! You guys will probably be oh, fine. <laughs> oh, you were pointing at me, not Mercy's children. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He was, he pointed, he pointed at Mercy's children when he said, you're small. (laughs) They, they both look up to Mercy. Are you really even going to bother? No, you're not going to ask me that. You're not getting on the bomb. (laughs) 
They're of combat age. He said age. it wasn't a bomb. <laughs> I can't. They, they've all got to leave the nest at some point, Mercy. <laughs> <laughs> what better way to leave the nest than propelled by rockets? Yeah. Cheer, cheer leans across the table. Don't worry. I'll get you like a non-bomb version. They look at Mercy. Does that exist? Uh, no. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe he just tried to stage whisper across an entire room. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that was a stage whisper. You're not allowed to acknowledge it. It's <laughs> against the rules. What yeah. the hell? It was an aside. Come mm. on. Even I know um, that that's against the rules. Bream says, speaking <laughs> up and dusting his glasses. Bria, well, um, that's great. <laughs> Regardless, we can make you about three of these things. They will, on a wide scale, disrupt the efforts of these creatures. If you strike them down while they're afflicted by this, they'll be put mm. down for good. It should disentangle the ASMR soul from them, functionally the magic that's animating them, and uh, return them to return them to soil. Uh, that's he, amazing. Uh, here's the difficult part. Oh. You will need to save at the very least one, I'd recommend two, for the tower itself. He sort I of cracks see. his jaw. Uh... Well, Inven inventor. we can't possibly douse the entirety of the tower, but maybe if we got it towards the base, we could make it crumble? Yeah, My wait. thoughts exactly. You hit it where it's structurally weak, and you let the tower do the rest of the work. Uh, yes. Can't I just cut it? It's everybody a big looks, tower. Everybody looks at Gregor. I think you This is cutting... like, this is an addition to that, you know? I think you Fail cutting safe. this tower should be a last resort. I... I don't think it would be wise to put that much strain on yourself. You've severed smaller connections and it didn't turn out so well. Yeah, I agree. Let's well, not do that if we can. I'm doing just fine now. And, well, uh, yeah, after a bunch of wheelbarrow time, <laughs> some of it was horse time. This might be a dumb question, but... The tower itself is made of the same, as you've described it, the soil. He nods. Will it still work on that? Because based on what you're describing, and I apologize if I'm, if I'm misunderstanding, the soil seems to be the sort that is not connected, or at least doesn't seem to have some sort of direct connection to above, hmm. like the silver. That's he a nods. good point. Uh... And then sort of gesticulates, Inventor, can I use your map? Yeah, of course! Uh, he goes, okay. Please observe. He motions to the tower and pokes at it. At the very base of this tower, around, around its core appears to be kicked up and caked soil of the variety that we're currently describing. But as you go higher and higher up the tower, the filigree grows more deliberate. The tower gains additional shape and it grows intentional, gorgeous. That type of structure couldn't be achieved with anything other than silver in its hardened state. As such, I believe that the tower's core composition is, he taps the base of it, a pillar of silver keeping everything together with a mound. He drops a bunch of just, just like, fun time sand, like, on, on, the, uh, on, on the table as well, and piles it up around. It is a... It is a sort of barricade around the outside to assure that the tower remains standing. I believe, if worse comes to worse, or an angel is damaged enough, he picks up one of the he picks up one of the toy or miniature angels and actually brings it over to the base of the tower and smushes it into the sand. They can use their own forms to sort of support the tower. He like looks back across. As such. I'm expecting this thing's structure to rely on this central pillar, the one that we see created in gorgeous filigree above. A strike to the core of this tower could bring the whole thing toppling down, as the outside is only supported by funtime sand. He, uh, <laughs> he starts to sweep the sand around the outside, and you see that the core of the tower, by his own supposition, is this relatively weak spire. So, the problem is, 
getting within the tower, very obviously. Finding Oh, we need to do this from inside. Of course. The outside, as my lovely wife correctly discerned, the outside is covered in soil that will not be affected by this. Of course, of it course. Can, oh, he said wife. <laughs> he he nods and the core of this is is the place that you should be looking for for deployment, but the problem is slams another thing down on the table. Whatever that new creature is, the one lurking around the outside, I'm unsure of its role, and I'm un I'm unsure of what it will do if you attempt to approach the tower. The other problem that we're confronting slams a shoe down on the table. The mysterious dreadnought-like creature that's been lurking amidst the plains. We're still unsure of its true nature, and as such, we'll be representing it with these shoes. <laughs> oh, oh, neat! I thought you were making a point about how proper footwear is very important in the heat of battle. No, we're just, um, we're in wartime and supplies are currently being crunched. <laughs> I see, okay. <laughs> Carry so, on, please. <laughs> he starts to slide the shoes around. We're unsure of what this thing is doing. Uh, we'll need to, to the best of our abilities, curtail its attentions or drive it away if we wish to get to the tower. And then there's the issue of the bell. We still don't know its true nature. For everything we've learned, we're unsure of what the purpose of that bell is. Why the angels strike all at once when that thing chimes. I'm worried sending our forces into a confrontation under imperfect information. But at the same time, I believe that's what we might have to do. He mentions imperfect information and then turns and looks over to Gregor. Yeah, well... It just so happens I have some information on that shoe. <laughs> he blinks. What about the other one? Does it really look like a shoe? <laughs> no. Oh. In fact, it has a tail. I... Oh. Most shoes don't. See? <laughs> he looks down at it. Interesting. Um, can you explain more about what you found? Sure. Gregor, you take some time to explain not only the, um... Not only the creature that you encountered, but, uh, the... You you described the battle that you came across, um, the the confrontation you saw between two angels, um, the shape of the dreadnought, as well as sort of its overall size and destructive capability. Freya rubs his temples again. Well, that makes things worse, I guess. Um, it's far larger than I anticipated, and if the front has been crushed completely, then even our little barricade of trees is not going to... He shifts around the battle map slightly, giving the angels a clear path through. Oh, that's not good. Oh, no um, doubt. It could take out a forest with that, with one swing of its tail. Wow. Hmm. And it can blast with cannons. That's horrifying. For what it's worth, I don't think this changes much. Well, I think unfortunately, I'm... And I don't want to describe it as the best course of action. I do not think that we can engage this directly, unless the only thing I could think of is if we used one of your weird barrel rockets to weaken it structurally, because if we could take out a couple of its legs, at least it would prevent it from moving. Because if we straight up kill it, it's just going to melt away and they'll rebuild it. But if we were to immobilize it, I don't know if it actually melts away to be redistributed. Freya, Freya smiles and is like, an incredibly excellent point. I think that would be a good use of our resources. Kier sort of scratches his chin. I, if you guys are, if you guys are feeling, um, <laughs> brave, uh, here's the problem. Um, I'm not, even creating three over the next few days is going to be pushing us to our limits, and, uh, you guys, looks at Freya and looks at Harlock, you guys both look like you're already sort of burning the candle at both ends. Um, I don't know how much I can task you guys. If we got three, if we got three shots of this, uh, you feeling confident about your ability to take out the tower in two? Yes. Ooh. Don't forget about me. I, I could replace one of those by stabbing this creature or stabbing the tower or I could do it all. I'd really like to keep you as our, like, last-ditch effort. I don't want to go in swinging with that. I agree. 
it honestly, it, it's not even. What else am I going to go and doing? <laughs> well, right. No, no, no. I, I, I'm saying you, you're still going to do your thing. But what I'm saying is, I would like to keep you as a last ditch effort, effort, simply because what if there's something that requires precision that these barrels cannot do? Because I mean, sure, they could blast. Every- I'll do it. Right, exactly. Well, right, but but we can't have you putting yourself out of commission by trying to fierce down the creature or the tower itself. Essentially, you're a last resort shot. That's why it's a. That's why we treat it as a last resort. I see. Exactly. Precisely. What I mean is, we we want you to be in there doing your thing. I've come around on it, and yes, it's wise. But I don't want you to also play replacement for one of these barrels and last ditch effort. That is a lot to put Can on. I play you. middle ditch because I think we should save one of the barrels because we got three of them, so we can easily put one of them in the last ditch, and I can be in the middle ditch, and then one of them in the first ditch, and then I don't know. Your kids can ride one of them or whatever you were talking about. <laughs> No, stop. Li- All the men in here have terrible ideas for you, too. She like hugs them. No. All right. In, in any case, um, I really don't want to burn you two out anymore, it, especially because, Harlock, if I were to guess, you will be accompanying us into the tower. Yes, I would like this plan to which work, is, so yes, I should go. <laughs> which is why a proper schedule of naps is an absolute must. Well, it does make me wonder, is it something that, I doubt it, but is there something that I could step in to do, Marcus or any and any of us could assist with to allow the other two to get some rest? Any sort of size. Yeah, I, like, I'm, I'll volunteer, like, I can, I can take a shift mm, if you want, I'm not. I'm, I'm no alchemist, but I can follow basic instructions. Oh, I. I practically wrote a book on alchemy. I can help. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, that some time off would be nice. So, yes, I'll leave it to you. Not just nice, necessary. <laughs> you need rest. Nods. Mm-hmm. Well, I've completed all yes, of my so most I'll dangerous sh- missions on zero sleep. <laughs> Harlock, please, I'll, pl- you need rest the most. <laughs> um, Wow. However, on the other hand, during those missions, I was also not worried about anything. <laughs> I think I think you need to talk to someone. <laughs> you know, it sounded like, Harlock, you were very concerned that you were becoming soft and dumb. A smart <laughs> thing would be to take some, some rest to make sure you're in tip-top shape. Yeah. That's not something I would have done when I wasn't soft and dumb. Harlock's bringing up some very good points. <laughs> Why do you just choose to be a problem? Why is this? Look, we will knock you unconscious if we have to. Yes, that'll give me a restful sleep. <laughs> Look, it's better than nothing. Please, please, take well, a nap. I've updated the you battle know map. <laughs> As you can see, I found some larger boots. Oh, oh. Thank, thank the gods. 